where so many of us are under so much pressure in or you know this inordinate pressure because we're living in an unnatural environment can you can you tell us how we can first prevent ourselves from slipping into a, a, an unhealthy addiction or a bad habit absolutely so the first thing we have to understand is that the scriptures say that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity and since we know that this period of time the last six thousand years of our history on this planet god intentionally gave that time for satan to rule so every aspect every perspective every dimension of this world and its way of things its infrastructure its systems is all meant for us to be in rebellion to the most high god almighty god allah and when we have that understanding then we know that all of us at some point will be faced with a hurdle and just so that we all understand that we are a part of this conversation some of us can be self-righteous and we can throw off on others because they have more prevalent addictions that are less acceptable so we remove ourselves from the struggle and from the situation because we're not like them so let me just start and make sure that we all understand that we're all in this together overcoming addiction and bad habits can be as extreme as an alcoholic beating on his wife uh an alcoholic suffering from cirrhosis of the liver someone who gets drunk with every check that they get snorting drugs popping pills see those are the big things that people say oh, I'm, I'm not doing none of that brother Daniel. i'm good but in reality even though those are more prevalent and more noticeable rebellious ways against god there are also other ones some of us have no ability to turn off our cell phones and just leave social media alone for a period of time some of us can't not eat three four five six seven meals a day with snacks in between some of us can't put down the hulu plus or the netflix or whatever social um not social but whatever website we use to binge tv shows and reality shows all of these things are hindering us from recognizing our true divinity which is to be children of the most high god or images of god himself so before we even get deep into the conversation i want us to all understand that there is something in each one of our lives that we all need to fix and usually when you go to the root of whatever our sin is whatever our vice is there you'll find addiction either on a subtle level or a very uh, uh, uh extreme level and when we come to that realization then we can say okay this is my brother this is my sister they may be struggling here i may be struggling there but as long as we can all study and feed from one another we'll all gain the victory and gain benefit in the end and it reminds me of a quote where they said that if you take uh, a charcoal pit and you remove one charcoal out of the pit <clears throat> they said watch how quickly the charcoal that is isolated and by itself will cool off but if you leave that isolated charcoal and put him in the charcoal pit with the rest of the charcoals, man, you can go do a water fight with your children, play basketball up the street, come back, and those coals will still be hot because they have the ability to feed from one another. So we pray that today's conversation and discussion is more of a united front, a brotherhood and sisterhood, because where I'm weak, Brother Stephen may be strong. And where Brother Stephen is weak, Brother Donnell may be strong. But if we can all feed from one another, we can all help each other as believers to become better. And overall, our nation will produce a greater product. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there so that everybody yes, understands, sir. not for yes, somebody sir. else. Yes, this sir. is for me. This is for you. This is for all of us because yes, we all have something that we're facing. 